Hello. Sir, you seem to be a good-looking man. We had a, just a very quick question. Okay. Uh, how excited are you? Scale of 1 to 10, Infinite Man Summit, Los Angeles, October 25th. <laughs> Super pumped. Hmm? How many tickets did you get? Uh, three. For just me three. And I, and me and my friends right here. Nice. Hang on a second. What, what aspect of yourself are you working on the most this year? Alex, what aspect of myself am I working on the most this year? How could she know? You got to know what you're working on. It was me better than I know myself. Yeah, I know. That's kind of sad. Are you guys dating? No. You're not dating? She's just your boss? She's, my she's your, 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 you're her sub and she's your dom? <laughs> um, no. Yeah, it's not quite that relationship. But seriously, are, are, you, are you working on, 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 I mean, you know, you, got, you seem like you got your shit together, you got a good energy, you're dressed nice, you got yours happy. You seem like a guy who's done a little work or am I wrong? You're just born lucky. I actually, I did a meditation retreat. That's part of it. Nice. Being more relaxed. You seem you seem pretty relaxed, Thanks. but are you actively working on other parts of your of your life development? Yeah, all holistic, 360, trying to make myself a better person to my friends and family, and be more compassionate to myself. Good, that's awesome. Yeah, that's what the Infinite Man Summit's all about: cool. self love, self acceptance. This is why we're going around asking people if they're coming. Well, it sounds like there might be some other people that need it more than I do. Potentially. Yeah. Well, what area of your life do you think needs the most of a you know business, like making more money, focusing on your passion and health? Uh, you know, relationships. I mean, what what could use a bump? You know, working less. So working less, so more personal time. Yeah, just pri making sure that I prioritize the things that matter to me. And uh, uh, is it you, you're not too crazy about your job, or or what's oh, the deal? I love my work. I just work is not the end goal for me. Yeah. Just more, just more personal time. Yeah, just looking, taking the long view. I I really think you should come to the Infinite Man Summit, actually. <laughs> okay. I'll take a look into it. I will. Dude, it's so fucking good. We got people there this year that are so good at helping people like get their brand out, start their businesses, follow their passion. Uh, we got a detox guy who's like amazing at helping people that get super healthy. Yeah. Tons of relationship experts. I mean, it's going to be fucking epic. Cool. Even if and if you're at a good place like you're at, you're just, you're just going to go to the fucking next level, bro. Cool. Appreciate it. Thanks. Give me a hug. I love you. Just feel the love. It's okay. Don't just feel the love. No, it's good. real. The love is real. I think his, he was going to explode. His heart was going to explode. He couldn't take any. I wanted to love him more, but he couldn't take it. All right. Love you guys. Peace out. All right. Well, let's cross this way too. He was a nice guy. He he actually he actually really felt like he was in a, is is in a good place. You know, some guy they just but this guy was like yeah he was cool. Excuse me, sir. Just a super quick question. Which ex which speaker for Infinite Man Summit 2019 are you the most excited about? I don't know. I mean, there must be one that you love. I don't know what's going on. You have no idea what's going on? No. Never heard of Infinite Man Summit? No. Nope. So basically, a bunch of dudes show up, and they work on getting their lives into alignment. So like getting the most amazing relationship, finding their purpose, starting that business they've always wanted to, getting it all, and living amazing lives. That's what it's about. Cool. You want to come? No, I'm okay. How's your life doing? That's the question. Pretty good. It's pretty good? Yeah. Could you, could you So good you don't want to improve at all on anything? Nah. I'm trying to catch this Mewtwo right now. I was going to say, it's a, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty funny thing because you're, you're pushing a button, playing a video game, saying that your life is, is super epic, but it, yeah. could, it could be more epic. I mean, maybe. Are you interested in exploring that? Not right now. Can you tell me why this game's so awesome? Uh, it's something to do. Just something to do? Yeah. But what if there's something else to do in life that's even more amazing than playing this game uh well that would be something <laughs> that's really funny i find it quite funny talking about a self-improvement event when somebody's excited about playing a video game yeah i think it's really funny what i just i just find the whole situation quite amusing okay is this your girlfriend over here yeah how you doing you want to come say hi to us how you doing no, you're not interested? Why why not? Why not? Alright. Well God bless you. Good luck on the game. I love you. Yeah. Peace out. Nice That's so perfect. That's literally amazing. I was so I was so shocked, I didn't know what to do. Anything I said would have been really mean. I'd have been like, uh, so uh, you're standing there ignoring your girlfriend playing a video game and I'm asking you about self development, and you're like, No no, I'm good and I'm like Wow. Wow. That, I don't, hello, how you doing? Don't be shy, why are you shy? 
Why are you shy? Why are you running away? Why are you running away? I'm a nice person. Anyway, like literally, I would say that is probably the person in this whole area that needs to come to the event the most. <laughs> They're literally start standing in a park. I have a joke about my friend Jeff, very similar about Grand Theft Auto, and that was like the real life. Scene. He's still the girlfriend is still standing there doing this, and he's still he's still pushing that button. He's still pushing the button. He's still trying. To <laughs> how you doing? Just a quick question. We're just asking people how excited are you? Scale of one to ten, 2019 Infinite Man Summit Los Angeles. What do you think? I don't know what it is. You want to? What? What? This guy? This is the guy? No, Infinite Man Summit. Okay. Yeah, it's like the it's like the at most epic event for men. We help men like love themselves, accept themselves, get girlfriends, start businesses, just basically build epic lives. Yeah. And we just do one a year in the States. It's, it's coming up next month in LA. So we're just asking people if they're excited. That's, that's pretty dope. I mean, if I knew about it and I was in LA, I'd probably, you know, check it out. Man, you can fly to LA. Here's, so here's a question. Are you actively like working on your life right now, improving who you are, improving your quality of life? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, I've been working in communities like for a while now, and I'm kind of just working on starting my own organization. So, you know. Nice. Sounds like you got a passion. What is it? Uh, hip hop, man. So music, graffiti, break dancing, DJing, all of that. You know, I have people in my circle that practice those, and I make music. So, I, you know, I got them all together to just come into communities and, you know, speak their piece, teach the kids. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's beautiful. I never heard when I asked somebody that question that mentioned graffiti. Now, are you saying if somebody has like a cool thing that they want in graffiti, that it's okay to, to go on, on a building where they don't have permission and put it up there? Nah, because, you know, you could get in trouble for that, obviously. You know, you got to use your discretion. But, uh, you know, pop by under a bridge somewhere, a little river. But, you know, most of the stuff that I try to specify to, to, to youth is like you can make money off it. It's a business. You can ask business owners to go over certain pieces of graffiti and do something nice, you know the business name or canvases to sell your work you know it's a big industry so i came out of you know i started just going under bridges popping by doing walls here and there and then eventually i started uh you know reaching out and expanding and you know making a little career for myself dude that's awesome i had no idea i mean that's gr that's a great idea and especially a, a great way for underprivileged kids potentially to actually get out there in the world that's awesome yeah, exactly man that's that's the that's the goal right it's just reach those kids that don't really know uh, you know, the ins and outs of like, you know, a business mindset and bringing, uh, bringing the arts integrated with that, you know? Dude, that's legit. Yeah, this guy gives a shit about humans. He's doing good stuff in the world. Man, I'm excited about it. I'm going to stand in this shade. So come over here. So tell us a little bit about you. This is going out to, on my YouTube channel. Yeah. So do, do like a shout out about like, you know, you and what, what you're doing out there in the world. Uh, well, my name's Gene. Um, I'm a hip hop artist. You know, I make, make rap music, uh, make beats. Uh, you know, I'm also a graffiti artist. I've been doing that from, you know, from the beginning from when I started, uh, you know, in this hip hop culture. And I'm really just out here to affect people and inspire with my music, you know, the things that I record and say, and, uh, you know, get get uh, get the community aspect uh, all, all attached to that, you know, so that we can all thrive and have people look at hip hop in a different light than what they might see it as right now, you know? That's what I was gonna say, cause like, it, it blows me away you're coming from this place, which is so beautiful. But again, usually you think of hip hop, what is it? It's guys rapping about how much money and how much hoes they have and weed. And I'm just like, fuck you guys. Like, who gives a shit? You know, that's not making the world a better place. How It's all ego stuff, right? It's all talking about how great you are. Great, you're in your own, it's like, they're egomaniacs. Yeah, good for you, who gives a shit, you know? Yeah. So you're coming from basically exactly that. No, you're coming from a, di a different space, which is really beautiful to see. Man, yeah, I, I just you know I'm 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 a person that talks about real life situations, and you know I know a lot of people are going through real shit. So it's like, if I could uh, if I could inspire someone just from a situation I'm going through to kind of get themselves out of their out of their situation in a in a positive way, you know that's that's a beautiful thing. And even even showing someone uh, certain certain resources and certain talents that you know no one you know no one helped me cultivate when I was younger, you know showing younger kids how to how to uh, go about that and how to you know uh come up off of it is uh satisfying to say the least you know Dude, that's awesome i want to check out some of your tracks how do other people find some of your tracks oh uh, you could go on spotify soundcloud uh apple music gene one g-e-n-e dot o-n-e um yeah man i got a couple tracks up there and uh releasing an album at the end of the year so Can you give us like a 30 like a 30 second from one of your one of your songs uh, just a little like a little something yeah. The best thing in my world, I thought about it twice. Once I recognized my power, I could change my life. Self-hating and loathing be on my street at night. We used to smoke out in the pissy stairs, needed lights. 
I got put onto the bars and told myself I got the juice like Sunny D Delight. I'ma shine now. I see my world in different colors while they living with their blinds down. Flip a pack upside down, smoking just to numb my minds out. Not bad. Not bad. Nice. Yeah, man. Yo, you could come do a track at Infinite Man Summit. Hey, that would be blessed, man. I would, I would love to do that, man. Like, you know, I'm always out here just expanding. I was in L.A. a couple months ago. Had a great time and, you know, want to go back ASAP. That's not a bad idea. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna exchange details with this guy, and then you might see him at Infinite Man Summit. That would be actually that would be actually epic. Be <laughs> Mr. Ben Greenfield, you got sucked into our crazy world. You sucked flew all, in. all the way to Bulgaria to speak at Infinite Man Summit. I dig it. I honestly didn't know a lot about Sasha or Infinite Man or anything else like that until I actually came here, and I'm I'm impressed. So happy to be here. I have made a number of breakthroughs. There are so many cool speakers of all kinds of things, all in one room, and the energy at the event is phenomenal. You've got to be there in person to feel it. It's just been out of this world, nothing short of magic. The most important thing was just meeting a whole bunch of really, really cool guys that I can connect with, stay in touch with. It's such an awesome event that I'm definitely planning on coming back in the future when they have one. The, the whole experience was awesome because I get to know so many people. Before I felt like, lonely and now I feel like I have friends out there.